Live a life that is closer to more that you need, to more that you love, to make more moments that matter. Live a life that is better where there's more fun with friends and neighbors together. SMDC, the good life. SMDC, the good guys give you SMDC. Everybody, good day, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to our webinar entitled Do More, Be More in the New Normal. This is brought to you by the Philippine Daily Inquirer's property section in partnership with prime property developer SMDC. So how's everybody doing? I certainly hope you're all feeling comfortable and enjoying the weekend because today we are very fortunate to have with us an esteemed panel who will help our viewers better navigate and efficiently deal with the new normal while making the most out of this unprecedented crisis dealt by the COVID-19 pandemic. So without further ado, let's get things started. Our first panelist is the editor of the property section of The Inquirer. Tex Samaniego is the AVP for Special Projects and Supplements of the Philippine Daily Inquirer. She's been with The Inquirer since 2000 and began her writing career as a contributor for several sections, including science and health, property, and business. Since her appointment as property editor in 2016, Tech has introduced new themes, columns, and creative executions to provide more interesting and more comprehensive content for the section. So without further ado, please welcome Tech. Hi, Tech. Good afternoon. Hi, Isa. Good afternoon and thank you for that warm introduction and welcome to all our viewers, all our panelists here. Well, as you know, the uh, recent pandemic, the COVID-19, has brought a number of sectors into a halt and one of those that was considered as affected was the real estate sector. But the good news though is that we're slowly getting back on track, taking off from a temporary halt brought about by the COVID-19 pandemic and the quarantine. As market spending was tempered by the crisis, construction activities were put on hold, launches were delayed, forecasts undoubtedly has to be reviewed and revised downward. But in all likelihood, it won't be long before we see a full recovery for the Philippine property sector. Because as I would always say, home shouldn't just be one of, an inv of your investment options, but rather it is a necessity. Again, I repeat, it is a necessity that, sh that you should work hard for from the time you start earning. The pandemic has shown us how important it is for us to have a home and communities that could actually serve as a sanctuary, your safe space amid all the unprecedented event that could come. No one was ready for the pandemic. That is a given. But the good thing is we have our homes, our sanctuary, our safe spaces to keep us sane. Okay? But I think the biggest challenge now lies on all our developer friends. Why, you may ask? Because this time, the COVID-19 pandemic has actually tested their metal, their capacities and capabilities as a provider of homes to actually ensure that what they're providing us investors and home buyers are ones that is actually fit for the modern era, one that could provide all the comfort and conveniences. Actually, there are those who took it upon themselves to immediately go back to the drawing table, implement innovative measures just to provide that so-called comfort and convenience, if only to ensure the safety of their residents, which I may say, all of a sudden became the measure of their greatness and reputation as a valuable home developer. With COVID-19, comfort and convenience has never become as vital and life-changing as it is today. Convenience, I may say, is no longer just a luxury, but rather a well-meaning necessity that could spell one's survival. Today, one's notion of modern convenience is not just about a development being transit-oriented, but it has become actually, it should be a home located in a district that offers all access or unlimited access to key establishments, institutions, offices, and even business districts 
down to the essential shops and services, and even to retail, dining, and entertainment centers. Clearly, there are some communities that stood out during the pandemic. These are communities that were able to immediately provide the essentials and even non-essentials to their residents. These integrated communities or developments showcase and prove and put um, actual uh, has provided actual proof to the word comfort and convenience and ease for its residents and neighboring communities. One developer I can proudly say who was who managed to accomplish all this is SMDC. SMDC is one of those developers whose residents were able to experience the kind of convenience one can only hope for while on quarantine. Given its synergies with the SM Group and affiliates such as SM Markets, Watsons, BDO, SMDC has clearly showed why it has remained a smart, practical home investment and a top-of-mind choice of everyone. And I think this... ESA is the exact same kind of synergy that you can and that can be enjoyed, for instance, at its at one of its latest projects, which is Light to Residences, located along EDSA. Not only is it transit-oriented, but it has its own mall that houses all the essential stores for the residents' convenience. And this is on top of the fact that Light to Residence is again, I repeat, it's highly accessible, it stands on a strategic central location. And as all SMDC projects, it offers top-notch amenities and features. It's like actually living in a hotel. SM, as a pioneer of the integrated mall lifestyle experience, has one again proved during the pandemic why it actually deserves to be called the home of choice of individuals looking to do more and be more and to have that actually very dynamic lifestyle. Through its developments, it managed to showcase the company's reliability and trustworthiness, especially in such situations like the COVID-19, by ensuring that its residents will have access to all their needs and maybe even more, and by extending a unique kind of convenience even to neighboring communities, not only to its residents, huh, but across all the uh, neighborhood where it is actually located, SMDC clearly became the model development which every individual would actually desire to live in. Of course, it should be noted that SMDC is, the wholly, is a wholly owned residential developer of SM Prime Holdings Inc., which many of us know right now that it's one of the largest integrated property developers, not just in the Philippines, but across Southeast Asia. This means betting your money on a property like SMDC means putting your hard-earned savings on an established brand backed by a property giant. It's also worth noting that despite the unprecedented event, SMDC for the first three months of 2020, 2020 posted a 23% revenue growth. Again, despite the pandemic. So for the investors, I think this actually matters a lot. The fact that you were able to record 23% increase in your revenue. And I think this is the only real estate firm that has managed to do, to do that. So again, I'm going to end this by saying that clearly there are some developers, one of them, one of which I think is SMDC, that can and will always provide you the perfect platform to do more and be more in this new era of the new normal and maybe even beyond. Again, thank you, Isa. Thank you very, very much, Tech. Not only, not only was that a very insightful overview of the property sector, but I love how you really, really broke it down that amidst, again, this situation we find ourselves in, there's a silver lining that everyone can start considering right now. And it's all started because of your overview. Thank you again very much for that, Tech. So more than ever, people need to know the real state of real estate to help you make smarter investment choices. Despite the challenging times like we heard from Tech, I'm sure you found enough reasons then to make your next property investment right about now. But in the meantime, our next speaker is a licensed Filipino architect who will now give us some pretty interesting ideas to help us create a safe, a safe space, a comfort zone, or a conducive workspace suitable in the new normal. 
Her ideas just might be what you need to make your home ready amid the pandemic and even beyond. Architect Victoria Lou Mawis Aliston has a professional master's degree in interior design of commercial spaces from the Instituto Europeo de Design in Barcelona, Spain. She received her bachelor's degree in architecture from the University of the Philippines, Diliman. She currently works for DSFN Architects and contributes regularly to the property section of the Philippine Daily Inquirer. Every, she specializes in the fit-out and design of interior spaces, and her project, Hibla Filipina, an integration of the Philippine pineapple cloth industry and three farm products, won her a scholarship in an international design competition. She believes that design is successful if it presents a unique, adaptive, and responsive solution to people's needs. So I hope you're ready to listen because here is Architect Vit. Hi, Architect. Hi, hi, Isa. Hello, everyone. So thank you for that warm introduction. Thank you also to SMDC and the Philippine Daily Inquirer for inviting me to join this event. Despite the challenges that we face today, there's actually a lot of opportunities for us to grow and become better versions of ourselves in the new normal. In particular, when it comes to spatial design, many of the homes and apartments being offered in the market today are adjusting to the needs of social distancing and better health. So I'm quite excited to share with everyone the beautiful possibilities that await us in integrated lifestyle cities such as SMDC projects. Just give me a moment to share with you my screen. So have you been feeling the quarantine blues lately? Even with the restrictions in the new normal, now is actually the best time for us to discover our passions and awaken our zest for life. Do more, be more, by taking on new hobbies and goals to improve yourself. But how do you begin? If you're actually having difficulty rising up to the challenges that we are facing today, take comfort in the fact that you are not alone. The COVID-19 pandemic has turned many of our lives upside down. Suddenly, the simple things that we love to do have become dangerous. Many of us haven't ventured outside of our homes in, in fear of contracting the virus. Even if the quarantines are gradually being lifted, we feel stressed once more by the daily grind. Traffic, rain, and other external factors can certainly keep us down in the dumps too. In spite of the challenges, we have a lot to be thankful for nowadays. The quarantines have forced us to reassess our values in life and to spend more at home with our loved ones and our friends. Though it has been difficult for us, the pandemic has given us a chance to explore and appreciate the benefits of our communities. Our time at home has also allowed us to take a look at the environment and come up with ways to revitalize our homes to suit our lifestyles. Given our newfound insights, we now have the opportunity to reinvent and improve ourselves for the new normal. And we begin by making small but necessary changes to help us get back on track with daily life. One activity that many people have taken up nowadays is exercise at home. While others are fortunate to have their own gyms, some people have to make do with limited spaces. Thankfully, we have communities that allow us to pursue the path of wellness without having to travel far from where we live. For instance, the SMDC group provides a place for its residents to take a swim in, in its exclusive pool areas. The amenity floor is filled with lush vegetation and relaxing scenery to make you actually forget that you're in the middle of the city. Here, we see the amenities offered at their up-and-coming SMDC Light 2 residences. Another thing that you might have gotten more concerned about nowadays is getting access to good and filling food. In the new normal, dining out has radically changed due to requirements of social distancing and hygiene. While this may prove difficult to many, people who live in integrated lifestyle communities continue to have easy access to world-class amenities and restaurants. As an example, those who live in SM Light residences 
continue to have easy access to the grocery, pharmacy, and restaurants populating the building. As in light two residences currently underway, more people will soon be able to enjoy the convenience and comfort of being close to shops and restaurants, offering some of the best services in town. The project becomes part of the SM Light complex, giving residents more dining and shopping options without having to leave the area. If you're more into home cook meals, however, living in a lifestyle city can still be beneficial for you as you can easily run to the grocery store for ingredients. With social distancing measures in place, you are assured of your safety and security inside your favorite groceries, such as SM Supermarket, Save More, and Alpha Mart. Having easy access to food essentials will allow you to try new recipes with your family. You can even organize a romantic date at home with your loved one in the new normal era. But if your main concern right now is self-care, the shops inside lifestyle malls provide you with personalized services. Salons, barber shops, and other service-oriented stores are gradually resuming operations in the new normal, with social distancing measures put into place for your protection. Despite our fears from the virus, living in integrated lifestyle communities allow you to take care of yourself and your family. When it comes to your homes, there are plenty of opportunities to refresh your living space amidst the new normal. This dress up unit of SM Light 2, for instance, shows how you can make a condominium unit bright and airy with the right color combination and light fixtures. You can also spruce up your living units with an accent wall or vibrant wallpaper if you please. Or you can create green spaces within the confines of your balcony by growing your own urban garden, giving you additional source of food supply. Even a simple act of organizing your unit can already transform your limited space. But if you're into numerous hobbies and activities, go ahead and make your space flexible enough to easily transform into a dance studio or an artist haven. You can do this by installing temporary partitions or separating areas through color, height, or even floor patterns. To exemplify, here we use a rug to designate the sleeping area in a spacious open plan of SM Light residences too. So in an integrated lifestyle community, the world is in your hands. Despite the challenges of everyday living and the new normal, you can still be the best version of yourself and pursue your passions. A lifestyle city will give you access to various places where you can pursue health, wellness, fun, and relaxation, even in the era of the new normal. It will keep you safe not only from unnecessary contact, but also from urban troubles such as traffic, daily commute, and lack of access to the essentials. In addition, living in integrated communities allows us to maximize space in the urban jungle. Thus, it helps alleviate the problems of urban sprawl, pollution, and environmental degradation. If you want to do more, be more, seek out a lifestyle city. These places will allow you to grow and become a better version of yourself in the era of the new normal and beyond. So that's it. Thank you very much for listening. And I hope you guys will seize this time to do more, be more in the new future. Definitely. Thank you very, very much, Architect Vid, for that wonderful presentation. I certainly hope our viewers picked up a lot of tips on how you can better use your spaces while adapting to this new normal. But I love in particular how Architect Vic actually highlighted the importance of convenience. Really, when it comes to living your life, to doing more and being more, you have to admit, everything she pointed out is always streamlined with convenience at top of mind. Now from an architect, we, we are about to hear now from a well-known interior designer. She is the respected influencer, 
an Inquirer Property Brand Ambassador. So really, she doesn't need further introductions because she practically is the life of anywhere she goes. Tessa Prieto Valdez has actually shown us how to positively and stylishly deal with the quarantine and the new normal. In her Instagram feed alone, one could actually see how she embodies the belief of doing more and being more, even while under quarantine. So let's hear from her. And she, I love where she is. Hi, Tessa. <laughs> Hello there, Isa. How are you? Good clearly, and wishing. I, I know, wish I was there with you. <laughs> and it's already clearly my new normal. It's like my old normal. I, I refuse to, you know, live as if, you know, it's all negative and, and the, you know, that the, the whole sentiment is, is of, of um, you know, uh, hopelessness. And yeah, and no. Gloom. So no. I, I'm wearing all the colors of hope and, and you know, progress. And I'm You're so happy to be part. Thank you so much, Isa, for um, um, handling this webinar. It's like wonderful that, um, you know, nice to hear that what Tech, my editor of, of uh, proper, Inquire Property, said that SMDC actually reported a positive, um, you know, um, uh, what do you call that? When everything is like, you know, um, you know, business is so bad and, 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 you know, like everyone's like just, just trying, it's just so hopeless. But, you know, now that, that you, that you know that, um, there's always this new normal, there's always, uh, you know, um, tension with what and how we're going to live after all this, it's still going to be, um, a long time before everything goes back to like pre COVID and, you know, it's really a matter of, like you said, Isa, it's a matter of attitude. It's a matter of how to, to um, you know, um, take things in your hand when it comes to security, when it comes to keeping your family safe, when it comes to making sure where you live, it's convenient. Like you said, everything nowadays, it's the convenience. And if you live in an integrated lifestyle community, which SMDC has really perfected. I was just telling, uh, I was talking to you earlier, Isa, how they have sort of planned this as a future concept and, and you know, sort of platform. And, and it's like they knew that this is the <laughs> new way of the new direction it's supposed to go. Because like, like we were like saying earlier, earlier why would you want to go outside if you just want to buy groceries for the day? Yeah, like run an errand. You know? Yeah, do an errand. And then you'll have to risk, you know, yourself being exposed to others. Of course, you can contain yourself when it comes to face mask and where you've been. You actually know. But how about the people around you? How about the commute from going from one place to the other? Yeah. There's so many variables that can really... You cannot control you cannot control and it's so it's so difficult so you know and then now that i realize that you can't you can't actually make it possible to live and shop and 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 even now with restaurants that you know you can you either eat home after this whole thing i'm i'm so tired of eating in the house <laughs> diba? so far um, you still yeah. want a little variety to spice i mean tessa like i said you're always the life of the party you bring this positive energy anywhere you go so it's it you don't want to be contained of course you love the safety of your home but when you want to be have an adventurous spirit or creative even if it comes to something as simple as running your errands like you said Convenience and you don't have to go to a car. You don't have to commute. Just go downstairs because it's right exactly. There. So you know, just just thinking about that and how SMDC plans their integrated um, residences. Um, before a condo would just be a condo. Yeah. Maybe there was gonna be like a bank in the ground floor because it's the retail and that's it. But now, can you imagine? Most of their development has everything already. Um, laundry. They have like laundry, dry cleaners. They have like, of course, a convenience store. They have nails, which I want to do soon. And then, you know, and then I heard there's also a little bit of shopping. And so why, I mean, now more than ever, time is the most, uh, it's, 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 a, it's a luxury now, you know, and, and we have it. You can't anymore say, na traffic ako, right? Yeah. I mean, all the meetings now are in your house. So it's very 
it's very nice to know that you have actually the option of living in a place that has all that convenience plus and safety as well because you know of course like now you're like saying you know it, it's not good to walk around but you need exercise we need we need fresh air in fact they were like saying sunshine is the is the vitamin d yeah vitamin you d need it. yeah yeah, right, architect Vip. She said, like, how will I remember your name? Oh, that's it. Vip for vitamins. <laughs> it's there. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, it, it, it's yeah, nice it's that, you know, even their development, yes, there are their convenience stores, but there's a swimming pool. There's a lot of green area to just even the space around that you can actually do like a jog or a walk. So it's, it's really nice. And, and, and it's very important that when you shop for a place to stay now that you're, now that you know how how the new lifestyle is it's yeah. great that we have the option with smbc i love so. that because how share with us tessa how you first felt again when you were trying to avoid gloom and doom but for someone like <laughs> you especially who has a, such a full social and corporate calendar Grabe. When it, last, the, the word lockdown pala. last year i traveled so often that <laughs> parang Ubus na yung stamp sa passport ko. And yung, Pages. Diba, yung, wala na. yung 10 years, wala na kung page. Kasi parang I love to travel, I love to shop. And for the first time, I've been in the Philippines. The longest. <laughs> yung parang, but you know what? As in me, I'm, not, I'm miss positive, right? So I always yeah. look for the silver lining. I always say, you know, what's, what's, the, what's the purpose? I kind of lost my purpose in life. Because mm. it's like... Things got too you know, busy. I got, I got, and I was thinking, you know, now that maybe the whole purpose of this is like, I'm going to be a full time mom. Oh, okay. okay. I thought internalized. <laughs> Kaya gumagana no, 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 no. back to me, back to me. No, no, no. Full time mom, of course, my daughter Athena's like, no, mom. <laughs> so, you know, um, now I've learned to value my time and focus on what really matters. Mm -mm. What matters? Your home, your family, of course, and, and your, your time spent better. Meaning, you don't have to travel two hours to go to your meeting and the back. I mean, like in total. So if you think about it, if you live in a place where everything is in your convenience. Available, yeah. Available, available. now. Why, Pa, do you have to look for a place that, you know, the mall's far away? Of course, you still need to do the, the mall thing. But, you know, for everyday necessities. Especially if you live in a condo, you can't really have a lot of space for, yeah. you know, stocking up your pantry and stuff. And besides, it's always good to buy veggies the day itself. And, if, you know, it, it's sort of, you know, parang how people live now. You can, everything's also delivered as well, right? Mm -hmm. So it's nice now you can still, but, you know, in this lockdown, I'm, I'm super craving to shop. <laughs> you get like, there, you get there. <laughs> and, and according to architect yesterday when I spoke to her, she goes like, it's not only convenience stores and, and restaurants and, 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 and drug stores and stuff. It's retail. Yeah, it's, it's retail. retail. I'm super needing retail therapy. Isa, it's like, oh my gosh. Well, of course, I'm so happy when I get my credit card bill. It's like zero. <laughs> <laughs> never, in my, never in my life. It's like, wow. I mean, like, there's always the silver lining, you know. But then, so nice that SM has retail shops. They said they told me. Yeah. So you know, and it's open. And again, with with what with regards to all these shops, be it convenience stores, uh, retail shops. What's nice is again because they are under the SMDC uh, umbrella. There are safety measures in place. Correct. You know, it's controlled. You know, it is mandated. Actually, not controlled. It's mandated yes. to follow these certain procedures, not just for customers to walk in, but more so for residents, I should think. No? You know, um, talk about that. Yes. You know, also, like I said, you can't control what other people are doing, right? Mm -hmm. But if you know that SM is it's, it's under umbrella, like, for example, Watson's. I miss Watson's, you know. It's like everything. <laughs> I even bought my hair color from them. <laughs> so like, Do it yourself. <laughs> Do it yourself. Everything's, everything now is DIY, right? Yeah. So you want to go to a place to buy necessities, meaning you necessity called nail polish, hair, lipstick, makeup, whatever. That, that's but you want to go, yes, you want to go to a place that they take the protocols of safety. Like, because they know that, you know, 
their 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 business is at, online as well, right? Like you said earlier, one one incident will kill the industry. Not yes. only them. See? So so it's nice that you know that all the, the shops SMs on top of that. So you know. So that's so really I, good. Again, so we're in line with the lifestyle. Because again, I loved how we got the overview from tech. And of course, uh, architect Vic brought up how all these developments, especially under SMDC, is thinking of you, not just as a consumer, but you as a resident, you as a unit owner, right? That you can still keep living, again, do more, be more in this new normal instead of feeling trapped. So maybe a, a final message on that behalf, Tessa, because you, I'll never see you in a box. I'll never see you <laughs> trapped. I'll never see you contained. So I really think this is, you're the perfect lady. You're the perfect person to be talking about doing more and being more. <laughs> um, you know, at this time, like I say, it's also, you know, we really have to take care of our mental health as well. Um, that's why if you live in a condo, it's so important that you have at least go out and just walk around like the pool or something. But you have to at least get your get your space and, and come out of it because mm -hmm. you know the, now surveys are showing there there's like um people are dealing with depression yeah. with uh, anxiety overeating that's also that's also a crisis you know and so it so you know it's it, it's for for now it's like your whole mind body and and, and soul you need to like i think Feeling. what i learned from my husband is like routine mm. meaning you always, which is not me, because like I wake up like whatever. But then it's so important to have a routine, mainly because you can then incorporate all that you have to do, like have some physical activity, some bonding time with your children. Now that you know, if you have to homeschool or whatever, and then me time as well, and of course the husband time. So you get everything in a day, as if you are actually. It's like you've actually it's a work day, you know, yeah. because the people You're so have productive. a tendency. Yeah, yes, so because productive. people have a tendency to see now, oh my gosh, parang work from home and dito lang ako sa bahay. Di ba? Ang hirap. No. It's you actually cannot. even more tiring because it's the balance of the time, it really is. And the next thing you know, the day is done and you're still not done with your tasks because now you're actually balancing children and work because you're like, yes. wala, nang, wala nang line, di ba? Uh -oh, so, uh -oh. But again, with, with the things that architect did, pointed out uh, with a, a smart use of space and all that. Even you, Tessa, with the, with the points you're bringing up, up right now, it's all about getting back to yourself inside here, uh, be it your mind, your heart, your soul. All these will come into play so that you can do more and be more this new normal. In fact, Tessa, let's bring everybody back. I think it's nice okay. to have a discussion going. So ladies and all gentlemen, right. let's bring back all our panelists today. She's already uh, popped up. Hi again to our editor, Hi. Tex Maniego, and our architect, Vic. Hi, welcome back. So we kami Tessa. We started things off already. And first and foremost, uh, on top of convenience, I, I hope to hear from everybody. On top of convenience, what are the other distinct advantages of living in an integrated development here during the new normal? Uh, tech or architect, who wants to take this first? Okay, okay architect with Muna. Ang ganda yeah. slide so, architect. <laughs> thank you. So from a designer's point of view, integrated lifestyle communities help with environmental and urban planning concerns. The fact that everything is concentrated in one area and that people don't have to travel far limits urban sprawl in our cities. So when we say urban sprawl, it's, for example, some of us want to live in suburbs, but at the same time, we have to access our work in the city. So if we have to travel to and fro, um, this actually creates pollution and traffic, and it's unnecessary if we want to progress. So with SMDC projects, like uh, SMI2, for example, it's actually, these urban problems are actually reduced. Therefore, if we choose to live in a lifestyle city, we don't only gain convenience, but we also help with our environment. Nice, nice tip. What about you, Tech? What do you have to say about this? Actually, Isa, for me, it's quite simple. It's still convenience and the fact that it's transit-oriented, so meaning you will have the luxury of time, of having everything right within your reach. This is literally having everything within your reach because you're just an elev elevator right away from all the necessities and the essentials that you need to have that comfort, to have that luxury. And the fact that it's transit-oriented, it's connected to the MRT, 
and you have your right across EDSA, so meaning, I mean for light to your right across EDSA or in other SMDC projects, let's say the ones located in MOA. I mean, you can't match confidence. You can't buy convenience. And given the pandemic right now with all the health care that we have, I yeah. think what you would want is to make sure that your family will always be safe, but at the same time can still enjoy those little luxuries that you used to enjoy pre-COVID. So I think that's just one of the many perks of living in an integrated community. How about from an investor's point of view or an investor's perspective, Tech? Uh, like even renting out your units, perhaps? Because again, let's not just think of, of people living there. Let's not forget, you, you brought it up. It's an investment opportunity. Yeah, actually, you invest for two reasons. One is for you to earn, or the other is one for you to have something to leave behind. So if I'm going to buy a space, in, let's say I only have budget for one investment, of course, I would go for an investment that I know would give me good returns. And what um, makes a good returns? I mean, if I'm going to rent out my unit and if I will be the renter, I would rent a space that would provide me that same convenience, that same comfort that I need. So... Technically, if you invest in a property, let's say like SMDC, which has all the necessities, the so-called essentials and non-essentials, if I were to rent a place, I would want to reside in that kind of development rather than having a standalone unit or I mean a standalone and not a mixed-use integrated development. In fact, there is this one story that was told by a friend. One of them lives in an SMDC community, in an SMDC development. And then her, her parents were actually living in another condo developer. Okay. What they do was that they had to shop for their parents because they're both seniors. And the community where their parents were located, it doesn't have that um, supermarket, gro uh, a grocery or Watsons or <laughs> even a... So they were saying that before we thought it was just lip service when you say comfort convenience but now because of the pandemic they've actually realized the value i of mean integrated developments that having again Pesa pointed it all out also besides architecture it's like i want to go to watson's i want to fix my hair today again simple matters like those matter mm -hmm. they really you do. know me, 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 i'm thinking you know how now there's like students and and mm -hmm. you know so i'm looking at these this smdc condos as halfway houses meaning now you, meaning sometimes they give it for um you know the parents buy it for their daughters which they eventually will give it to them diba parang as like tech tech said what you something that you leave behind and so now what they're using it is like because it's a, it's convenient and then they can go they don't have to commute like to the school or to yeah. work and then they just go home to their house whether it's during in, the weekend sir yeah. during the weekend which now is, is a sort of a trend, especially for, and then they can have like a group of friends to stay or rent or, you know, because now, again, you have to protect yourself. Now it's like, not everybody has the ability to work or can do work from home, correct? I mean, some, some now really have to go back to work. Yeah. And so, meaning they need to commute, they need to have that exposure. So if you're if you live somewhere, not the one really far from work, but that you are there in in that space, that you know your 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 exposure to the elements is less. Mm -hmm. So that's I think for me the the very important um, consideration when you you invest in a property that you have that. And again, like Tech said, it's an investment, meaning you buy something. And I can say that I, a lot of my friends has bought condos and that they buy condos for the number of children they have because it's, wow. it's, it's, a, it's a good size enough that they can afford also to, I mean, like, you know, I mean, like now they have two or three, four or five kids behind me. It's like two kids share one condo, but you know, because it appreciates all, I can, I can say that all of, SMDC's properties and, and units have sort of not a doubled, but they have appreciated. So parang in the second sale na, parang meaning if just in case they need to sell it or, or you know, or rent it out, it has appreciated already. Property exactly. always appreciates whether there's a pandemic or not. Nice. Because, you know, it, it's good. So it's really, it's what they call land bank, right? You, 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 you put your money in, in a property. 
Nice, also, one, nice points on that. Tech. Yes, Tech, you wanted to add? If I may just add, when you invest, because there are two things that you need to look for. Eh? One is that, is it, especially for a property investment, number one, is it backed by a reliable and trustworthy developer? Yeah. You need to, ha- to check their track record. Because that's number one. What if they, I mean, it's hard-earned money that you're putting into. It's not a 50 peso purchase. I mean, <laughs> five millions. So it has to be backed by a very, very reliable developer. I mean, there are a number of ghost stories where you have parang mga fly-by-night developers. So that's number one. It's a life, lifetime investment. So you have to make sure that you go for a developer that has a very good track record. Second, you invest on something that you know would earn you double. I mean, you're not going to bet your money naman if you know that you're going to lose. So what's your guarantee of earning? I mean, your property is centrally located. It has all the necessary conveniences. It has top-of-the-line amenities. So, I mean, you have all the reasons to, to be, I mean, that's enough guarantee that this investment will actually double over time. And you can actually check the track record of SMDC. I mean, when it comes to um, investment, I think they're one of the best bets right now in the industry. Wow, nice, nicely said, Tech. Before I move on to the next question, something about what Tessa said about being a, a halfway house, kumbaga. I, I'm thinking in terms of the new normal. And if you do have to go to work, commute to work because your home is far, guess what? It can also be a quarantine space. Yeah. Right? Oh, that's nice. Especially because the thing is, you don't want to go, especially if, what if your parents are already seniors, right? So besides that convenience, you really are also safeguarding your family. And in the end, it's just a matter of, 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 of cleaning up your space, making sure you, you, know, you fumigate, you, you clean it out, uh, disinfect. So it's also nice. I just thought of that. But, um, it's also quarantine space. That's you know, that also, also now, I think people are, um, of course, you got that's, that's a good point that you made. Um, your parents are seniors already and that, you know, um, you need to make sure that you, you can control your own space, right? Mm-hmm. And so um, every time you go out, you're looking at like you're going to the battlefield. Yes, right? that's true. And you're so going to war. <laughs> you want to make sure na your space, that's a barracks na lahat ng mga, mga stuff. So you don't need to get to wear PPE pa and you yeah. know, all that thing. You can, of course, you can just wear a mask and, and, and maybe goggles, but you don't have to like, parang, oh my gosh. It's more the fear, I think. Yeah. It's, it's, Be smart yes, about it's, it. Be smart about it's, it. It's yeah. the convenience and everything, but the fear of, of, of what's out there, right? So at least it's when you, in your mind that you feel, you feel secure, it's such a good feeling. Especially now. I mean, now it's so hard na to be, um, of course, biased to some people na kinda, you have to make sure na you don't know where they came from. Or, That's or, true. Or, you know, That's true. And, and where they've, they've been tested or not. So you can only control what you have in your space. And we, we, with living in an integrated home like, like, like SMDC, it's, you're so, manageable. Yeah. You, you're so, I mean, like, um, secure. More, you're, you're, it, it's a security issue. Very, True. it's very important now to have that security issue. I like then I, I like that it is also a manageable space, right? So thank you. By the way, someone said Jennifer Pamis. Thank you for an awesome webinar like this. I feel more positive regarding the situation. <laughs> We're just getting started. We're practically almost halfway done, palang at this point. So now that we 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 said again how it is a prime exa- how it can be a good uh, investment. Distinct advantage, integrated developments. Let's let's bring it closer to home. What makes light residences a prime example of an integrated development? I know it was Architect Bit who took us through the slide. So, Architect, would you like to highlight this uh, part again? What makes light residences a prime example of of living, of doing more, and being more like what Tessa made cuento? So the great thing about SM Light Residences is that different aspects of the city are within your reach. So retail shops, offices, and even an MRT station are all close by. So mm-hmm. in the case of Miss Tessa, you can go shopping <laughs> even if like now we're in quarantine, even if you don't have immediate access to other cities, you can do everything 
right just go downstairs. Yeah, just yeah. go downstairs. So this exemplifies the ideal model of the urban community where travel, pollution, and other city challenges are eliminated. So that's what makes SM Light really a good ex example of an integrated development. So challenges. Can I, can so, yeah, I yes, ask yes. to uh, architect? architect uh, sure. So what? What are? What? Uh, what? What do? You, what else do you have? Of course, from the from the convenience stores and in in the shopping retail. And <laughs> you have yeah my my therapy. But you have I know you have a, a fantastic pool as well, right? Yeah. What 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 are the common areas, um, spaces, and amenities do you have that you can share with us? So you're talking to a very active lady. <laughs> Correct. Yes, that's, all about, that's why she's the great shape that she is. <laughs> I'll share a personal experience because before I got married, I used to live in an SMBC property in Makati. So what I think that from all the uh, from all the projects of SMBC I've seen, so they have a pool, they have a gym, and for me, in my case, I work in the city, so I always need to take a break from all the stress at work. So sometimes, you know, I just go to the amenity floor, I walk around, I, um, what, do you, what do you call it? I uh, meditate, I think about what happened throughout the day. So that's what's great about this. And I'm sure SMDC Lite too will offer that in a much, much more um, responsive uh, design to the new normal. So personally, I really love I really love the fact that SMDC responds not only to our physical, but also to our mental and spiritual needs. Uh, architect, sorry, before that, I did see a question earlier. Is there going to be a bridge between yeah. Light yeah. 1 and Light 2? They're a planning bridge? to connect the two so uh -huh. that if you live in one tower, you can easily transfer to the other one without even <laughs> having to exit the complex. Yeah, Monica Banyas <laughs> is so excited for Light 2, she was just mm -hmm. saying. I, 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 there's a bunch more questions here, but let me. And Tessa, you want to add anything to this or tech about yes. uh, integrated so, developments? So, yes. Um, architect Vit, I'm sure, or uh, like in all of SMVCs, um, take us through the protocols that you have put, like mm -hmm. when you come into to the residents and like yeah, what do they do? How do they check? I mean, like, are they required to take the temperature? I mean, like, I'm sure, like, you just um, can you just um, run us through yeah. how. You have been uh, doing all the protocols. Okay. Actually, before, before the pandemic, they've already been strict about uh, security in SMDC residences. So we have these RFIDs. So only residences can enter the residential towers yeah, and access oh, the nice. amenity floors. So with the new normal, uh, they have given the guards like the temperature sensors and also the foot mat paths that allow us to clean ourselves first before entering the building. Mm. And what do you mean by qu clean yourselves? Sorry. Like you have I'll to sanitize wash. yourself. Yeah. yeah. Like alcohol and you have to clean your shoes. Take a shower there in the air. Yeah. No, not, not, not the shower. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> what if what if later on that's part of integrated living? You never know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. You never know. And personally that's an idea. What, yeah. Personally I'm scared of using the elevators in buildings because of course, everyone uses them. And right now, exposure to different kinds of people is something that we want to limit. But in an SMBZ um, project, like the one where I used to live in, they really take it upon themselves to clean the elevators yeah, always. That's good. And to like, designate markers on the floor so that people can, can, be, can maintain a social. safe social distance. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that's that's what's or, great you know about what? You should get one of those, ano, parang it's a gadget that you press, but you won't like use your fingers. Uh, you know, yeah. I don't know because it's like a because it needs although you can't use anything metal because it it needs I don't know war I don't know what. But then, you yeah, your you advice to use yeah, the elbow. <laughs> yeah like especially for elevators because sempre you use of hands to touch surfaces okay. are really uh, as much as possible. If you can avoid it, because Pero, hands you can touch your face. If, if but your here, elevator, if, if your floor yeah. is really high, and you don't want to touch your elbow, you're so cute. <laughs> okay, sorry. Wait, wait. See, <laughs> guys, 
ganyan, ganyan. Ladies, ganyan. ladies, architect with the test. Si Tech naman. Tech, anything you want to say about what makes Light Residences a prime example of an integrated development? I love how architect Vit already also mentioned the commute. Tessa about the, the retail shops and uh, again safety measures. She even asked that question for me. So how about you, Ar uh, Tech? Isa, we have to remember that before, uh, I mean pre-COVID, two of the main selling points of every developer would be the talk of comfort, convenience, and it being a transit oriented. Now, there are some projects who would claim and tell you that they are they uh, afford con convenience and comfort to their residents. But when you look at the amenity area or you look at the different features, I mean, it lacks so many things. But with an SMDC project, this I can always say. Mm. If you go to Light 2, as soon as it's completed, it has the biggest retail area. So oh, that's perfect for me. Yes, I don't know. And then you have another one in Light 2. So you have the biggest retail area in a uh, residential development. And then number two, you have the luxury of commuting using the MRT or the LRT. Or you can easily access EDSA and go from end to end. So yeah, I mean, I think this is what makes uh, um, light to a very good investment right now. And I think it's also best for as a halfway house. I think Ms. Tessa was right in saying that it's a perfect halfway house, especially for those not wanting to take longer commutes. Mm -hmm. And it's also, I think, your best gift that you can give to your, you know, your parents as soon as you're working. I mean, it's time to give back. SM, I've seen a number of retirees actually opting to get a unit at SMDC. I mean, I, I know two friends who actually gifted their parents units at the SMDC. Because they oh, how nice. So it's not the parents beautiful. giving, it's the children, the children giving. The giving. Parents. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think that's a oh, great that's idea. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Let's not forget, Light has a cinema. It has a cinema component. So they were saying that their parents can just easily go down watch a movie and then have a quick lunch and then go back to their units or to the amenity area and you know just while away time and take a stroll i mean that's what's good about i think this integrated projects and oh, wonderful. Li libre pa yung cinema diba aren't seeing your citizens free in the movie house <laughs> <laughs> that's some that's something well, pero hindi pa nagbubukas okay wait wait guys hindi pa nagbubukas okay. ang cinema <laughs> at this point but should it Perfect, Naya. Yes. If you think of your seniors when, if and, and parents. When, if and when. Yeah, if and, and when. when. <laughs> you, can't, you, you can't say they'll be bored. Diba? That's, a, that's definitely something you, you at least assure them. There's stuff for them to do as well. I have another question because, again, we're, we're so enthusiastic about this, thinking about integrated developments. Do you think integrated developments then is a trend in the industry or is it here to stay post COVID and all that. I mean, whether or not we find a vaccine, is integ are integrated developments here to stay or is it just a fad? Uh, Who wants to take this one? Uh, uh, for me, I think personally, it's, it's here to stay. We are all creatures of comfort. No matter what you say, we want to have, to have everything within our reach. In fact, can you imagine your weekends that you still have to go long drive just to be able to get what you need? But imagine you being just an elevator right away from your grocery, from your, I mean, from all your essentials. So I think this kind of developments are actually here to stay with COVID or without COVID because the luxury, the luxury and the convenience that it affords every resident, I think that is something that we should all look into. In fact, um, may I just mention that while other developers are busy going back to the drawing table and redoing their design, I think SMDC has already perfected the blueprint for these integrated developments. I mean, it's not just for the pandemic, but it's actually for the comfort. In fact, in doing this, SMDC, I think, is actually doing a great service to the Filipino people because now they are able to enjoy these little conveniences, these little luxuries. I mean, um, never has housing been more this... Um, I mean, sulet. That's the term. It's really... Sulet. <laughs> <So, yes. laughs> sulet. Because... I mean, can you imagine going down to Watson's just to buy all your makeup essentials yeah. and your hygiene essentials? Tech, there's a comment. Dolores Rosario da Costa. It's also what retirees retirees like to have for their periodic maintenance checkups. Yeah, because... Correct. 
parang mga satellite clinics Mm-mm. within their building. So you see, this is really ideal, not just for the newlyweds or startup families, but even no. actually for me, integrated communities are best suited for our seniors. Because, I mean, you have their clinics, you have banks, everything that they need. And I think at that age, they deserve all the comfort and convenience that they can have. Yeah, don't hassle. But you know what? I don't not just for seniors, it's for everyone. I mean, I can imagine myself as a college student again, the ba? Now, because for someone like I'm starting out, I also like to feel I'm learning my independence. But but kuno man pahihirapan sarili ko, de ba? I mean, I'll also learn the works, right? So yeah. sorry, Tessa, yeah. It, it's, um, yeah, you're right. You, it's it's like um, SMDC was like saying earlier, they've had they're like ahead of the curve because <laughs> they have already had this um, blueprint already even before this pandemic. It's like they kind of knew, <laughs> not the one like <laughs> how strange, but you know, like, now, 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 everyone's, now, now it's like everyone's copying them. It's like me, and when somebody says they put a hat on, on they're gonna look like that. <laughs> so, like, now that. You know, SNBC has that integrated already from the start. Now every other development is like, I can copy lang kayo, right? And and why change something that they have been perfected already? You know, and and because they know, because they also have other, uh, you know, under umbrella other companies. So they kind of know. They already are. They have studied their clients and their customers and their, you know. So they know that they need this, this, that, that. I mean, like. It's it's sort of a template covered. already. It's covered already. So now that I know that even me, I'm covered with my retail therapy, you know. <laughs> and and now now that it was just because of the COVID, it just reaffirmed that this 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 um, you know, the projects that they have is 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 what it is. So it meaning it's not yes, it, it's not a trend. Definitely, it's, not, it's, it's here, here to, to stay. stay. It it's something that you know that SMDC is thinking of the end customer. Not, because technically, they can just make everything condos. And then, you know, because if you do retail space, of course, there's like open spaces that they have to pay for, you know. And so it's nice that, you know, they think about who is going to live there. Nice, nice. They said. How about, wait, let's hear from the architect. Because speaking of trends, this is her field after all. <laughs> architect Vip. Is this a trend? Or I, you, we've heard it from the consumer end, be it from tech and Tessa. But what about from the architecture end, from the developer end? I mean, you're the ones building this. Okay, so, from, from the designer's point of view, yeah. actually, integrated developments have been a while, have been around for a while already. So, for example, the MOA Complex and SMC Side Cebu were built already a few years back. But they continue to attract a lot of residents and visitors. I think this actually proves that it's not a trend. It's not something that just occurred right now. This is this has been going on for a while in the case of SMDC developments. And I think with like residences too, it proves that it's here to stay. So in, integrated developments are are here to stay because they're they're actually responsive to everything that we need. And as mentioned before by Tech and Tessa, not only do newlyweds nor new families get to experience and to get their essentials, but also senior citizens, college students, and you know everyone can live in an SMDC community and be happy. And that's what's great about it. So yeah, I think this is not a here. trend. It's here, here to here stay for a while. Yeah, here to stay. Nice, nicely put. So, you know what? Can you believe that's actually the, the meat of our webinar today? More than your individual presentations, I loved how our gathering and this discussion really has been a great one, informative, helpful, and undeniably inspiring. Tessa, again, from everybody here from the comment section, everyone has been saying thank you to this panel. Thank you to this webinar because now I feel more positive. I, I saw a couple of that in the chat box. In fact, here, Myra was just saying, nice discussion, very informative indeed. Thank you very, very much. So before I let our panelists go, closing messages, please. Let, let's close it all in a good, good, good light because it's been beyond information. It's really about encouraging everyone, you can. You can do more, you can be more. So I want to start with Tech. Tech, how do you want to say goodbye? Well, um, to all our viewers, I just want to say that number one, um, we are resilient people. So no matter what happens, we will be able to get through this. Number two is that I think you should really start considering or thinking about your future. 
on investing on your future. I mean, there is no perfect developer. I mean, everybody can lay claim that I'm the best, I'm number one, I can do this, I can do that for you. But two things to remember. Number one, put your money on a trusted, reliable property developer. You try to look beyond the offerings. I mean, the low down payments, the, the different schemes. I mean, just try to look and review their track record. Number two, go for a developer who can really deliver, meaning providing all the necessities when they claim that will provide this kind of amenity area. Make sure to visit their projects, make sure to, to go there and look for your, and look at it, uh, I mean, to really look and have a feel of the place. So, and then last is that, this is a personal appeal to everyone. I mean, to all my developer friends, let's continue creating integrated communities like SMDC because it affords a different kind of comfort and convenience to our home buyers. And of course, to our home buyers, I ask you to continuously stay positive. I mean, we have been through a lot already. And one thing I'm sure of is that we will be able to get through this with our family right here with us, with a safe, um, convenient home to live into. There's nothing that we cannot achieve. There's nothing that we cannot overcome. So again, a pleasant afternoon to everyone. And thank you, Isa. Thank you, SMDC. Thank you, Ms. Tessa. Thank you, Vit, for this wonderful afternoon full of positivity. Have a safe day, everyone. Thank you for that, Tech. Thank you. Let's go to Architect Vic. You, you know I was going to get you last, right, Tessa? I'm going to end with you. But Architect Vic, after Tech's wonderful last message, how about you? Okay, so with the things that we've discussed today, I hope that everyone will be inspired to pursue their passions even in the pandemic era. So yes. while in quarantine, it doesn't mean that you can you have to stop exercising or doing your hobby. In fact, this is actually the perfect opportunity for you to pursue your hobbies because you have the time. So while we have to continue protecting ourselves from the COVID-19 virus, we can still go on about our daily lives inside integrated lifestyle developments. These communities are geared towards providing the essentials and the opportunities to allow us to do more and be more in the new normal. So go ahead, don't be afraid, take the plunge, and discover the joy of living in an integrated lifestyle city like SNDC's project. Thank you very much for that, Architect Vit. Speaking of someone who will never stop pursuing her passions, here she is, Tessa. Last words, please, Tessa. As I take my final walk down from the coronation, <laughs> how cute naman, Architect Vit. I heard I'm going to pursue my hobbies. You pala, <laughs> you hobby was asawa ko. <laughs> okay, you know, um, it, it's nice for me. Of course, I always have this like, what are the three takeaways of, of, of you know, of this webinar and, and everything? I, I think, okay, number one is really, um, you have now the time to reassess and reset your life. You have no one to blame anymore from now on. You can't say, oh, kasi work, kasi ganyan, ganyan, you know? You have to take things in your hand. And you have to, like, you know, take the necessary. Because whatever, everybody's already doing that thing. It's a face mask and everything. But now... You have to reassess and what you want to focus on and prioritize in your life, okay? Now it's like never ever will you have this time again because True. now it's like, it's, it's like, oh, I can't do this because of work. I can't do that, whatever. So, you know, you have no more excuse. You can't say traffic, whatever. No more excuse. So that's one. The second is like you have to take care of your mental health. Of course, like, like Architect Vit said, every day exercise and but you just don't realize that the mental health is now under stress because we are, we're humans. We are sociable people. Well, maybe I'm extra sociable, but <laughs> everyone, I mean, you know, there's such a thing as, you know, a Zoom, Zoom, Zoom fatigue. I mean, parang after a while, you know, we need, we need communication. And I guess now we need now energy. Just, you know, we need it's energy. Nakaka energy yeah. Nakakapagod rin yung parang like this, you know? So, so now, um, Maybe you can start with your family. It's a good time then to bond and everything. So, so that one. And then the third is, um, so you take care of your mental health. And then the third is, um, don't think that your life before was perfect already. Of course, yes, you want to go back to that thing. And, you know, now the new normal doesn't have to be far from what you were. I mean, you know, it's, it's just an improvement. That's what it is. So... Think of, think of na lang all the, the, yes, 
you know, you need to stay positive. So just think about what you think, um, the, the, you know, uh, how you can improve on whatever you're doing, whether you, you, you know, you shop more. <laughs> or something, or, you know. So now, now really, really take time to, to, um, you know, like find out what, what, what your, what your purpose in life is. How deep, but you know, well, you know, That's true, purpose though. in yeah. life is to live in an SMDC condo. <laughs> <laughs> Integrated development at that. Thank you, Tessa. Again, Texa Maniego, architect at Tessa. Thank you very, very much. Everyone saying thank you for your messages. Everyone saying thank you for this webinar. Good discussions indeed. So ladies and gentlemen, this wraps up our webinar today. Thank you again to all of our panelists for sharing their time, insights, and expertise with all of us. Thank you also to the property section of the Philippine Daily Inquirer and SMDC for hosting this webinar. I'm Issa Litton. Thank you again. Good day to you all. And as everyone's saying in the chat box, be safe. Bye, everybody. Happy weekend. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Issa. Smile, Issa. I'm taking your picture. Yeah, okay. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tag. Hey, Architect. Okay. Hey. Approved. Bye, all. everyone. Happy weekend. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thanks, Issa. Thanks, Vip. Live a life that is closer to more that you need, to more that you love to make.